you've heard of them many speeches, I bet a lot of you are starting to feel tired and you probably want to escape from this room, right? <laughs> and my speech, exactly titled, Escaping. But from something else, okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Joyce Lee. Glad to be here, and nice to meet you all. So, I want to begin my speech by showing you a picture from The Truman Show, one of my favorite movies. And I want you to imagine, what if your life is a true man show? So basically that means your life, your entire life is fake, with your parents, friends, teachers, all the people around you being actors. Your life is constructed and manipulated by an invisible director. And you're not even aware of that. You couldn't escape. Think about that. Terrible, isn't it? Fortunately, it's just a movie. In reality, we have the free will to make our own choices and determine how to live our lives. No one is manipulating us. Or is it? Actually, you and I are imperceptibly monitored and controlled by something very powerful. And that thing, well, it actually has a quite lovely name. Can you guess that? Yeah, it's social media. We love social media so much that we let it permeate into every corner of our lives. Think about these applications like WeChat, QQ, Douyin, Snapchat, Instagram, etc. Indeed, these applications offer us great happiness. They seem to be always sending us the messages that we like, fitting exactly into our interests and preferences. Here's a story about myself. Once, I was sitting on a rail and I clicked into a pretty girl's photos. When I went back to the homepage, I found it refilled with many more pretty girl's photos. Wow, that was amazing. But, you know, when I think about it, wait a moment, where, like, how does it get to know my interest? So the thing is, while having fun on social media, I constantly pour out data about myself into the algorithms, which then make predictions about my interests and then recommend, or perhaps the word feed, new information to me accordingly. On the surface, how good it is to be fed with, with what we like. Well, that's true, but nothing in this world is a free lunch. To make an omelet, you have to break a few apps. Similarly, while enjoying the pleasure uh, provided by social media feeds, you also face the danger of being stranded in an information cocoon. Which means, day by day, you only see information that is consistent with your beliefs. Then you become narrow-minded, never receiving different opinions. And that's why I think such a situation resembles true man shows for 4.5 billion people, with each individual each person having their own reality and their own set of facts. Our lives are constructed and manipulated by social media. In this case, we are no longer objective, constructive, and independent thinkers, but puppets controlled by algorithms. That's terrible, isn't it? So I want to, and I try to, escape from this situation. Here's the message. Have a try if you want to. I tried tomato time limit, use low test application, I turned off notifications, asked my parents to keep my phone, and I even tried to lock it in the drawer. All of these, these messes I tried, but I failed. In the end, all of these messes, they just don't work. Every time I seemed to burst through the cocoon, I came back to it, trapped even more deeply, because the desire of enjoying the pleasure of social media never disappears. I couldn't escape. There's no way to escape. Oh, or is it? <sighs> On the edge of giving up, I found, or I think I found, the only solution to escape, and that is reconnect to the real life and enrich it as well as I can. Sounds quite simple, right? <laughs> I read books, do sports, I visit people and make travels, I engage in activities, get myself busy with things. 
In this way, I don't want to go back to the world of social media anymore. And the reason is simple. Social media is a means, a tool, an amplifier, but not the problem itself. In the past, I used social media because of feeling bored. But when I make real life more attractive and satisfying, well, I feel bored because of using social media. That's progress, right? <laughs> um, the point I want to make here is that if I can do it, then you can do it. For sure, to escape is hard. To make a change is hard. But after all, we do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So we could escape and let's escape from the true man's role. Thanks for listening. My name is Chloe. Glad to be here and nice to meet you all.